video is gonna be a week in my life. As of right now, I'm on summer break, but I am taking a summer course that's required in my nursing program. So I'm doing my psych rotation right now, which has been pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd film a week in my life video just because I wanted to do one when I was back at school since it was my first year completely back on campus since I was a freshman that was in like 2019 so I really wanted to capture it and it was my first year in nursing school so I really wanted to document that and share it but unfortunately I had a lot of complications come up when I was filming my week in the life so I know first semester I tried to and then halfway through the week I had some family um, things come up so I just didn't film the rest of the week and then second semester, I think I tried again, but I honestly can't remember if I completed it or not. I still have a lot of those clips on my camera, so I'll probably just like edit it together and do some sort of like voiceover thing just so it doesn't go to waste. I mean, there's still memories that I have on there. I'll probably do that after I finish my summer course because with the summer course, I've been pretty busy. So yeah, I figured I'd just vlog um, just because. So yeah, today is Monday and I actually have a test tomorrow, so today just consists of studying and reviewing I've been reviewing for the past couple of days so today is just like a nice one last review kind of thing that's kind of my setup right now I did some practice questions all morning so I just kind of got to go through all of these again and I have the um, slides on my iPad which I'm gonna review after each chapter and I made myself a matcha because I needed it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what my day is gonna consist of. I'm doing some laundry right now too, and I'm gonna cook later on for dinner for my family. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna get back to this. I know today's pretty boring, <laughs> but I hopefully this rest of the week is a little bit more fun and stuff. Sorry if the lighting's dark or keeps changing. This window behind me does not have a little shade on it. Um, to actually like block out the light, but yeah studying's been going pretty well Honestly, I know I started like I kept up with my work because I was like if I procrastinate like I'm screwed I know my test is on about like nine or so chapters um, Not nine. I'm just kidding like seven chapters So it's quite a bit um, So I just didn't want to like procrastinate I started studying on Monday so like a week ago I did like a chapter or so a day and things like that just to start reviewing so this weekend I went over all my quizlets and everything so today is just like a full-on review day um, and it's going really well I went over like practice questions and I feel good about it so fingers crossed it all works out I have to keep in mind that I have to cook today so that takes time and I also want to try to finish around a little bit after four or so because I don't know if y'all know this or if Gigi's gonna make a video about it or anything like that Basically, she's gonna be in New York this summer, which is so exciting It's basically for school, so I don't want to give too much away because it is her news to share But yeah, so she's in New York right now, so I haven't really- Oh my god, no! One of my socks fell I really want to make sure I can FaceTime her. It's been a long time and I miss her dearly um, So yeah, so hopefully I can finish on time and FaceTime her and I need to fold my laundry that's dry now and just do some things like that so I will catch up with you guys probably when I'm cooking um, but yeah so it's 5 41 right now I just finished studying I'm definitely really tired I have a headache as well but I'm gonna get started on dinner and FaceTime Gigi so I'll show you guys that next here's Gigi oh my god <laughs> So here's Gigi, finally, all the way from New York. Yes. Ooh. You can't see it's dark outside. There's also a thunderstorm happening, but yeah. <laughs> How exciting. So Hopefully she's vlogging her experience out there or something. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hello, I totally realized I forgot to vlog. See, this is why I never finish my week in a life i genuinely forget so today i took my exam this morning they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine i took my exam so i passed my exam it went fine it's a very hard exam a lot of us and my cohort are like on the same page um grading wise and things so you know it is what it is so after that i just got ready right now eddie's waiting for me to go take pictures for his best friend. I decided to do this hairstyle. It's a little bit different. I've never tried it, but I saw it on TikTok and I don't know. 
that is cute something different uh, but yeah i'm just getting my stuff ready my camera's all ready um so i will talk to y'all soon and yeah. oh my god who was gonna tell me my makeup looks so bad oh my god i love that i realize right when i'm in the car it's fine but here i am with eddie do you want to say hi Hey, baby. <laughs> Not to me, to the vlog. Oh, I got drive photos. <laughs> He's focused on driving, but yeah. So I figured I'd do a little bit of a voiceover, but basically we went to UCLA and took some grad pics and hung out a bit. And then Eddie's friend's roommate actually did the Fat Sal's Challenge. If you've never heard of it, definitely recommend looking it up. But yeah, that's what we are seeing here. And then we went to Rocco's after. Hi everyone, so long time no talk. I didn't really vlog too much yesterday and I didn't vlog that much today. I know, I know I'm messing up, but here I am. But basically, yeah, yesterday uh, I did the photo shoot as I was saying. So I couldn't really record while I was taking pictures because, you know, I was taking pictures and we were walking around campus and everything. The pictures turned out well. I'm gonna look at some of them right now and just probably, I won't edit today because I don't want to be on my computer too much. Um, because I do have to go to sleep early tonight because I have clinical tomorrow So I don't want to be on like my computer, but yeah leading up to today I woke up early and I was just doing homework all day I just read like a chapter and like took notes because we do have our exam coming up soon our second exam So I just wanted to get started Um, so I was glad I kind of took like a semi off day yesterday Like I went and did something nice something outside But I still like completed my assignments that I wanted to get done so I felt really good so today was like refreshing to like just be like okay time to start again you know was basically doing that all day and I just came back home so I need to look at those pictures iron my scrubs and prepare my bag for tomorrow so I'll probably take y'all along with me for that so we can have some footage for today angle because I'm gonna set up my clinical bag usually I take this backpack which is an EOP backpack I got during summer bridge 2019 so it says like EOP on it I usually use this one because I don't like to use my school backpack I like to keep that separate just because this is going in and out of the hospital you know obviously it stays in within the break room but I just like to have that stuff separate but unfortunately this backpack um, is not gonna fit in the lockers we have at this new facility so our professor was like because we all had backpacks we're all like you know first day and she said just to bring something smaller that we can fit into the locker so we don't have our backpacks like all kind of lined up in the little break room if that makes sense so i need to transfer some stuff from here into my little tote bag is this one it says protect my energies it's from alina baraz i love her um but yeah basically I'm just gonna use this tote bag and wash it, you know, whenever I come back from the hospital because it's easier to wash in a backpack. Um, so yeah, just because that way I can like carry my lunch and things. My clinical bag, I'm gonna show y'all what I usually carry. And things for sure, I love having like a little notebook or something in my clinical bag. This one's from EOP as well. Oh my god, I love them. They be blessing me with so many things. But yeah, I really like this one because it has some sticky notes on here. Um, I usually just write like quick notes or anything like that. Another thing I have in here is something I got from our pre-nursing club, which is a little first aid kit. But another thing I keep in my backpack is just like feminine products and stuff like that because you never know. <laughs> I also keep these cards in here. So I actually got these for Christmas or my birthday, I can't remember. Um, I got them for my brother, but they're just these like little cards you can stick on your badge reel. So this one, for example, is like for maternity, but yeah. I just have a bunch of these, so I just keep them in my bag, so whenever I need to switch them out, I have them. I also just have a bunch of extra pens. I also have a lot of hand sanitizers. Yeah, this one I got from UCLA Health when I volunteered with them, so I like to have this one. I have like squeezable ones like gels. I have a bunch in there. Also, I have some cream for my hands. Very essential because my hands be dry after washing them so many times. I usually keep two little like binder things like these just with extra papers and any papers I need for clinical. Um, I always like to have those on hand, so I usually just put them in here. I've been wanting to get something like a folder to like better have it, but I just haven't really got around to it, but it works fine, so. Next, I have my little clipboard. Um, so I got this one off Amazon, and it just has a bunch of things on here that are nice to refer to. 
um so yeah it's really nice and then i just have my papers on here they're really nice i've also um like the ones that are kind of like a clipboard but you can open them and then have papers inside i think those are pretty nice too i do like this one because it does fold easily into your pockets lastly i have my stethoscope case which is one i got from amazon as well and luckily for our side rotation i actually don't need to bring my stethoscope so that's not something i'm like worried about she said we don't really need it because we're not allowed to do like head to toe assessments and stuff like that but in here it just kind of looks like this it's a little messy i feel like i should have gotten a different one um just because like sometimes this side falls out but yeah i have an extra pen in here a highlighter one of these pens that my friend sophie gave me and i love this um really nice i have my extra name tag in here i have a pair of scissors or shears I have my secondhand watch, which I do need for tomorrow. I have my pen light in here. I like to keep the battery off of it, um, just because I've noticed in this case, even if I like clip it to this part, it still slips and slides. And I remember one time I opened my case and the light was on. So I don't wanna waste my battery. I have a little prep pad in here, um, just because, you know. And I have this extra bad drill, which is where I keep, um, like the little cards I was saying, an extra sharpie for like labeling things, and then another little light as well. Then I have another name tag. This is the one I actually use for my side rotation because we're supposed to like black out our last name. And lastly, I have my stethoscope. So this is a Litman and it is in this blue color. And I bought this little thing on Etsy. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it just says my name and it has like a little heart with the stethoscope on it. So yeah, I'm just gonna prepare my bag so I can have it ready for tomorrow and yeah so yeah right now I'm just waiting for those photos to download and I'm just gonna take a quick look at them not edit them or anything right now because it's already late it's like 8 12 and I want to go to sleep latest 10 p.m. because I have to get up at 3 45 it's fine alrighty my scrubs are nice and ironed it's not perfect but it will do <laughs> so i don't know if i showed y'all but we got our nursing jackets in so they look like this super cute and it's just this little fitted jacket i love it for clinical especially in the morning it's so cold so my camera died so i just let it charge for a bit while i did like my night routine like wash my face and stuff but as i was saying um our sweaters are lined so they're really nice and warm um for the morning and yeah i just love taking this one to clinical but yeah i'm gonna get ready for bed now i made sure my alarms are on and everything and i'm just gonna put on an essential oil i think that'd be a perfect way to end my night so i have a couple of i was gonna say a couple of flavors oh my god a couple of like scents so i think i'm gonna do lavender just because it is the night um so yeah i usually like doing like peppermint and stuff but i want to switch it up today I honestly only do one to two drops because it's actually really strong for my diffuser. I know the first time I did it, I think I did like three drops and honestly, I just got a headache. So now I know like one drop is good, two max. My little diffuser, I got it at TJ Maxx and I love it. So I just kind of keep it right here. Just gonna add literally two drops and that's it. <laughs> because I don't want it to be too strong and stuff. I'm excited. I love it because it like changes colors. I don't know if you guys can like see that, but it changes colors. So nice. I'm already tired, so let me get some rest. See y'all in the morning. Up in the morning. Thinking about so many things I just wish things would get better I'm trying to get rid of them But nothing seems to stay the same Good morning y'all So I'm up and I'm being a little quiet Just because my brother is still asleep And my dad's getting ready for work You might be wondering why I get up so early to go to clinical Well basically I feel like I would get up at this time anyways But I wake up to go with my dad because I live far from the hospital, but he works nearby. So, 
just makes sense to carpool with him by the time i get to his job like i just wait like 20 30 minutes and then my friend swoops me up and we go together because she works she lives near my dad's job so we get to the hospital at 6 a.m and we have to start exactly at 6 30. so honestly it works out i feel like either way it's just like a 20 30 minute time difference and there's more traffic if i were to leave later so I think leaving at that time is like perfect. Only for clinical, I do a sun back pony with my hair in a braid and then I add like a little um, headband just to have a lot of baby hairs. But I don't know if I want to do that today. I could wear a gray one. That'd be cute. I'm going to try to do little braids. But... Mm, honestly, I'm tired. Here is the fit. Just my scrubs. I go pack my lunch and fill up my hydro and then we'll be on our way. Cheers! <laughs> so I'm back from clinical. I am exhausted. Today was a pretty long day. As I said, it's a 12 hour shift. Um, yeah, it was very eventful. It went well. And we got free boba after, which was really nice. And I swear our moods just instantly changed yeah we were very exhausted in the morning and throughout the whole day i think it was just really rough today um for all of us we were just like so tired but we were leaving our shift and there was free boba um but yeah i'm home so i'm going to shower eat and do some homework because i have a lot of stuff to do already eight o'clock <laughs> But yeah, but I like to, I kind of knock out on these days, so I'm going to see how I feel as well, but my goal is to do like a couple of small things. I'm debating whether I should make food or order something. My post-clinical meal is always the Cobb salad from Chick-fil-A with the spicy chicken instead. So good. Literally so good. And it's my favorite thing, especially with the avocado lime dressing, whatever. So bomb. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see if I end up ordering it or not. But so I caved and got a salad from Chick fil A because my brother ate my leftovers, but it's totally fine. Hello and good morning. It is finally Friday. So I've been up for a little bit just doing some homework before I go, but I have to go to campus and fill out some paperwork and provide some things because I'm going to be working as a tutor for nursing uh, next semester. So we'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm doing it with another classmate. So hopefully it goes good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have to do that. Um, so right now I'm just going to get ready um, to go. So we are leaving campus now can see looks a lot different because the fields are not out right now just came to do some paperwork um, it was really quick and yeah <laughs> so we drove out here I think we're gonna get some food before we go home thank you to my lovely 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 boyfriend for driving me because it's going a little far but basically yeah here we are so we came to McDonald's, no surprise there, but one of the reasons we came is because I wanted to try the new Grimace Shake and it's a pretty nostalgic character from McDonald's that I remember growing up, but it's what it looks like. I thought it would be all purple, but it's not. It's like a Fanta frozen thing. It literally tastes like an icy. Ready? I mean, it's good, but there's nothing like special about it. It's just like a regular like, vanilla birthday cake type of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And then the purple taste. And it's not even all purple. It's okay. But I mean, now we know. Good morning. It is the next day. It is Saturday. And I'm going to go volunteer with UCLA Health at. Well, it was at the Dodger Stadium, but now I think it's at a park near the Dodger Stadium. But yeah, 
I just got ready. I'm pretty tired. I stayed up a little bit late doing some homework last night, but here we are. But yeah, I'm pretty excited because I did a similar event in the spring semester, I believe it was, where we went to Inglewood and we did like blood pressure checks, um, acu checks, and then also gave like health education on like healthy eating and living a healthy lifestyle. So that was really fun. So we're doing the same thing. Um, just at a different location. I probably won't be able to vlog there. Obviously, I'm volunteering and doing things, so it would be a little strange to do so. Um, but I'll try to get like some pictures or anything to put in. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night uh, because I was doing an assignment, so I'm pretty tired. But I'm gonna try to power through. I'm taking a break right now because I don't know, I feel like I need it. But then I'm gonna like go over the assignment I did last night, make sure it's good to go, and try to see what I can do for today. Um, but yeah. Hello, long time no talk. So. I've basically been doing homework honestly I'm really tired I was writing some stuff and I was kind of falling asleep but I'm fighting it because I'd rather just go to sleep early I know if I take a nap right now I am NOT gonna go to sleep later in the night and that's just gonna mess up my whole sleep schedule so I'd rather just go to sleep early so yeah I turned in some work and I'm doing some other stuff um, for today but yeah, I think it's just been, I think I just haven't been getting the best sleep these past few days and it's just been like waking up early, having to do so much stuff. So it's been catching up to me today. Um, so yeah, I definitely am feeling it. So I'm just going to take it easy today, do the work I had planned. Why does my hair look like that? Oh my gosh. Hello and happy Sunday. It is Father's Day today. So... To be honest, I haven't really vlogged too much. I haven't really done much either. I've just been doing homework all day, <laughs> literally. Um, but I did spend some time with my dad. We had some food and we ate together, which was really nice. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm just reading another chapter. And I did some work earlier today. To be honest, I feel like this week had like some high moments and just a lot of studying in between. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how my summer is going right now because of my summer course. As you can see, I've just been taking notes and reading. I'm hoping, hoping I can either watch the lecture tonight or do the prep due tonight, which is just practice quizzes. Hopefully I can do one or the other um, because I wanted to do both, but because I was doing some other work earlier today, I kind of started reading a little bit later. Um, but hopefully I can get through one of them so that way I only have to do one or the other tomorrow um, because I just have to continue. I have another chapter to read for next week and then just begin studying again for our exam. So I'll let y'all know if I do anything else interesting. <laughs> Probably not, but we'll see. Finally done. Let me turn off my lo-fi beats, but... I finally finished my reading for today. I am exhausted. I kid you not, I've been doing this all day. <laughs> it was a pretty long chapter with a lot of information. So that's fun, but yeah. But yeah, I'm literally exhausted and I have some stuff to do tomorrow, so I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I can edit this soon. I think I'll probably edit it once I finish my summer course just because as you can see It literally is an all-day thing. I definitely miss making videos. It's Been a while and I feel like I've picked up the camera and recorded but just haven't had the chance to edit it So maybe I'll go back and edit the footage I have from like when I was dorming um, we'll see, but yeah, I definitely missed it and hopefully I can edit this and put it up because it's like I said, it's been a minute, but yeah, I got some rest. Thank you for watching again and I hope y'all are doing well. Um, yeah. <laughs>